Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the first build for the dev channel in the Windows 11 Insider program of the year 2023. Finally, we have the first build and we can start enjoying new features and new improvements from Microsoft. Well, I think not necessarily from this build because this build is not such a big build in the dev channel. But of course, we're going to talk about what has changed, what is fixed, what is improved and so on. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with a notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before starting the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by HitPaw Video Converter. HitPaw Video Converter is a 120 times faster video converter that has a lot of useful functions. One of the most useful functions is the video slash image compressor. Go into the toolbox section and select video and image compressor. Next step would be to add the video and select the level of compression that you want. You can compress individual videos or all at the same time by clicking on compress. The exported video will have a significant smaller size with minimal quality loss. You can try HitPaw Video Converter converter for free by downloading it from the links below in the video's description. Let's continue with the video. The bill from today is the bill 25,267. As I've said, it is released on the dev channel, the first build of the year 2023. One of the first changes is that Microsoft moved Quick Assist out of Windows tools, so it displays directly in the start menus, all apps list, and it's easier to find. Also, Microsoft is removing the suggested action for searching copy text in Microsoft Edge and also showing recommended common websites on the recommended section in start menu, both of which began rolling out with bill 25,000. 247. Microsoft received feedback for those features and of course they could be released later on with better improvements and better stability. Regarding the Windows Subsystem for Linux, starting with Bell 25267, the inbox version of Windows Subsystem for Linux has been removed. When you install a build with this change, if you are a WSL user, you will need to update to the latest WSL version that you will be able to find in the GitHub post that you will see in the article below in the video description. And of course, more info about that in the article below. Regarding printing, Microsoft added a refresh button to the Windows print queue. And basically, these are all the improvements and changes from this build. As I've said, it is a smaller build regarding new features and improvements, but we have a lot of fixes. So let's talk about some fixes regarding general fixes. They fixed an issue where some ARM64 devices experienced a black screen while resuming from sleep or hibernate. And they also fixed an issue causing various UI elements in apps to disappear and reappear sometimes in recent builds. Regarding the search on the taskbar, they fixed the issue causing the search box on the tennis bar to not render correctly and display visual artifacts. And also Japanese IME candidate items should display correctly now inside the search box on the taskbar. Regarding the task manager, we fixed an issue causing filtering by publisher name to not match correctly on the processes page. Fixed an issue causing some services to not show in the services page after filtering is applied. Fixed an issue which resulted in new processes appearing in a filtered list if launched while a filter is set. Fixed an issue where task manager did not display light and dark content correctly, rendering potentially unreadable text, fixed an issue causing the startup apps page in the task manager to not list any apps for some insiders. If there are no matching search results, task manager will now explicitly say that, which is a good thing. Fixed a task manager crash that could happen when attempting to end certain processes. And also you can now set focus to the search box by pressing Ctrl plus F. Regarding the narrator app, they fixed an issue that was causing settings to crash after turning narrator on or off in Lithuanian and Hungarian builds. Also the narrator should now be working correctly with Windows Defense application guard for Edge. Regarding live captions, they fixed the issue that was causing live captions to not work in the latest Insider Preview builds in the dev channel. It was always loading and setting up. And also what you need to know, as a hidden feature, Microsoft is working on behind the scenes on adding more languages to the live captions segment of Windows, which I think is really, really good. Regarding the settings app, Microsoft fixed an issue which could cause a hang if you canceled out of certification authentication when connecting to VPN. They also fixed an issue which was causing settings to crash when opening Power and battery sometimes. They also fixed an issue causing quick settings crashes sometimes when navigating to the Bluetooth section. And they also fixed an issue where the app icons under settings, apps, default apps might be blurry. Regarding windowing, they fixed an issue causing a black screen when out plus timing out of, of certain games and recent builds. Maximize button should no longer be slightly smaller than the close and minimize buttons when you highlight it and file explorer in certain other apps while using dark mode. They also fixed a couple DWM crashes that were introduced in recent builds. Regarding other fixes, Microsoft also fixed the issue causing some Windows security app crashes, and also they fix 
connection issue which could lead to the camera app showing that something went wrong if you pressed pause while recording video. If you want to see the whole list of fixes that are available in this build and also the known issues for this build, you can check out the article below in the video's description. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech page channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase, until next time, have a nice day.